Cosenza, is a city in the Calabria region of southern Italy. The municipal population is of around 70,000. The urban area, however, counts over 268,000 inhabitants. It is the capital of the homonymous province of Cosenza, which has a population of around 735,000. The ancient town is the seat of the Cosentian Academy, the second academy of philosophical and literary studies to be founded in the Kingdom of Naples and one of the oldest in Europe. To this day, the city remains a cultural hub with several museums, theatres, libraries and the University of Calabria. Geography and Climate Located at the confluence of two historical rivers, the Bosentra and the Crathis, Cosenza stands 238 meters above sea level in a valley between the Sela Plateau and the coastal range of mountains. The old town, overshadowed by its Norman castle, descends to the river Crathis. The modern city lies to the north, beyond the Bussenta, on level ground. Almost completely surrounded by mountains, Cosenza is subject to a microclimate scarcely influenced by the Mediterranean Sea. With cold winters and hot summers, history, origins The ancient Consentia, capital of the Italic tribe of the Bratii, was a bulwark of the Italic people against the Hellenic influences of the Ionian colonies. It was in this province that the Battle of Pandosia was fought, in which a small Italic army composed of Bratii and Lucanians defeated Alexander the Great's uncle, Alexander of Epirus. Over the centuries, Cosenza maintained a distinctive character, which marked it out among the cities of the region. Under Emperor Augustus it became an important stopover on the Roman route via Popilia, which connected Calabria to Sicily. During the Roman Empire, although merely a colonia, the town benefited from municipal privileges. Alaric's legendary tomb in 410 AD Alaric I, king of the Visigoths, captured the great city of Rome and became the first foreign enemy to capture this city in over 800 years. When he left Rome, Alaric had amassed a great amount of treasure from his conquest of the city. According to the Gothic historian Diodanus, Alaric left Rome and headed south with his troops. When they reached the area of Cosenza, he died. No one is certain how this happened. Some believe he contracted a disease that took his life. Others feel that his death came from an attack by enemy forces. In any case, his troops honored their king by burying him in a tomb. This was no normal tomb. His burial place is said to have been at the confluence of the Bosenta and Crathis rivers. A horde of slaves were used to divert the water from the Bosenta, allowing them to dig a tomb large enough for Alaruk. His horse and all of the treasure amassed from his conquests. Once the tomb was completed, the river was returned to its bed and the tomb covered with water. Then, to ensure that no one would reveal this location to anyone, Alaric's troops killed all of the slaves. In the centuries after the fall of the Western Roman Empire, several towns in the Cosenza province, most notably Rossano, refused to acknowledge the new governments of the barbarians. Instead, with strong city walls and small Roman garrisons, these cities held out for centuries as some of the last bastions of the Roman Empire in Italy. For that reason, Cosenza was viewed as Byzantine territory until the invasion of the Germanic Lombards. Norman, Hohenstaufen and Angevin period bitterly disputed between the Saracens and the Lombards. The town was destroyed, then rebuilt around 988, only to be ravaged again in the early 11th century. In the attempt to escape the devastation, the population left the town and sheltered on the surrounding hills where they built some small hamlets. By the first half of the 11th century, Lombard Calabria became a feudal dukedom of the Normans, with Cosenzo as capital. The town soon rebelled against the rule of Roger Giscard and was only recaptured after a long siege. Subsequently, under the Hohenstaufen rule, the town became the seat of the court of Calabria. The Emperor Frederick II had a particular interest in the town. 
He promoted construction and economic activities, organizing an important annual fair. Subsequently, Cosenza fought bitterly against the Angevin domination, supported by the clergy. While the uprising spread through the valley of the Kratis, the town was involved in the seesawing fight between Angevins and the Crown of Aragon. In 1432 King Louis III of Anjou settled in the castle of Cosenza with his wife Margaret of Savoy. When he died untimely, in 1434, he was buried in the cathedral. Spanish domination in 1500, in spite of resistance, Cosenza was occupied by the Spanish army led by Captain Gonzalo Fernández de Córdoba. During the 16th century the town experienced a period of expansion as the seat of the Viceroy of Calabria. At the same time, its cultural importance grew thanks to the foundation of the Academia Cosentina. Among its most renowned members were Bernardino, Telesia, Orlo Gianni Parasio, the Martirano brothers, Antonio Serra, and others. In 1707 the Austrians succeeded the Spanish in the Kingdom of Naples, followed by the Bourbons. After the proclamation in 1799 of the short-lived Parthenopian Republic and a vain resistance, the town was finally occupied for the Bourbons by Cardinal Fabrizio Ruffo's Lazari. Cardinal Ruffo was native of the province of Cosenza. Modern age from 1806 to 1815 Cosenza fought hard against French domination. Cruel suppressions characterized that period and in 1813 the town, a cradle of the Carbonari secret societies, saw many rebels executed. The local riots of 1821 and 1837 heralded the Risorgimento. They were followed by the uprising of 15 March 1844, which reached its climax with the noble folly of the Bandera brothers who were executed together with some of their followers in the Vallone di Rovato in Cosenza. In 1860, some months after the rapid and overwhelmingly heroic deeds of Garibaldi's troops, a plebiscite proclaimed the annexation of Calabria to the new Kingdom of Italy. Main Sites Church of San Domenico founded in 1448, the church combines Renaissance and medieval elements. Its most interesting feature is the rose window defined by 16 little tough columns. The wooden portal is inlaid with floral motifs, figures of saints and coats of arms. Inside the church are works by the Cosentian painter A. Granita, Santa Rosa, Santa Caterina, San Ludovico, San Giacinto and San Domenico. The high altar is made of polychrome marble. In the transept, there is a deposition in a San Vincenzo Ferreri. The sacristy is noted for its ribbed vault, a double lancet window with a narrow arch and a wooden choir installed in 1635. The cathedral The exact origins of the Duomo are unknown. It was probably built during the first half of the 11th century. An earthquake destroyed the cathedral on 9 June 1184, and rebuilding was completed by 1222 when the cathedral was consecrated by Emperor Frederick II. At some point during the first half of the 18th century the church was covered by a Baroque superstructure which obliterated the original structure, and its works of art. In the first half of the 19th century the façade was transformed in neo-Gothic style, which completely changed its character. At the end of the 19th century, Archbishop Camillo Sorgent entrusted the work to Pisanti, who recovered the original old arches and the ancient structure of the church. In the 1940s the work was finally completed. In the transept is the tomb of Isabella of Aragon, wife of King Philip III of France. A long aisle links the Duomo to the Archbishop's Palace, the Polazzo Archivescovile, which houses an Immaculata by Luca Giordano. One can also admire the rare and precious Storoteca, a gift from Emperor Frederick II to the Duomo upon consecration. The work was produced in the Royal Goldsmiths' workshops, better known as Tiaraz, in a cultural environment which blended Muslim. Byzantine and Western cultural elements. On 12 October 2011, the Cathedral of Cosenza received the status of UNESCO World Heritage Site for being heritage witness to a culture of peace.
This is the first award given by UNESCO to the region of Calabria. Monastra del Virgin I in Via Gatano Argento stands the Convent of the Virgins. The external part of the main entrance is made of decorated tuff, while the internal part is carved of wood. The convent contains a 16th-century painting of the Annunciation. In front of it is the 13th-century Madonna del Pilario attributed to Giovanni da Taranto, while on the walls are four other anonymous 16th-century paintings. The Visitation, the Circumcision, the Adoration of the Shepherds and the Adoration of the Magi. In the apse is the altarpiece Transit of the Virgin. The summation houses a painting portraying the coronation of the Virgin, while at the base of the two columns are paintings, attributed to Michel Curia, the Master of Monte Carvario, of two unidentified saints. The wooden choir dates to the 17th century. Giostravecchia in the 15th century, at Palazzo Falvo the Renaissance was introduced at Cosenza, in the Giostravecchia. Here are located the church and monastery of St. Francis of Assisi. The Latin cross plan has a nave and two aisles. In the nave stands the impressive high wooden altar built in 1700. Above it is a painting by Daniele Russo representing the Padonna di Assisi. The left aisle is home to a wooden 17th-century crucifix, the altar of the Madonna della Feba and the statue of the Madonna with child, in marble, dating to the 16th century. The sacristy has a painted wooden ceiling, a wooden armadillo representing episodes from the Passion of Christ and pictures of saints and Franciscan monks. The stone arch is characterized by the painting of Saint. Francis of Parola, while on the walls are some frescoes dating to the beginning of the 15th century. Hohenstaufen Castle The Castello Svevo was originally built by the Saracens on the ruins of the ancient Rocca Brutia, around the year 1000. The castle was restored by Frederick II, Holy Roman Emperor, adding the octagonal tower to the original structure in 1239. According to tradition, his son Henry lived in this castle, as a prisoner at his father's command. Louis III of Naples and Margaret of Savoy married in the castle and they both settled there in 1432. All signs of the ancient Saracen structure have now disappeared. In the internal cloister, the modifications made by the Bourbons in order to convert it into a prison can also be seen. The entrance hall is covered by ogival arches with engraved brackets. A wide corridor is dominated by some fleur de lis from the House of Anger coat of arms. They are engraved on the ribbed Hohenstaufen arches. Spirito Santo The Church of Sant'Agostino, also known as the Spirito Santo, was built in 1507 by the Augustinians. The original portal has several inscriptions in Gothic characters. The interior has a series of paintings from the 18th century. Further on a narrow street leads to the so-called area of the Bandera brothers, the Vallone di Rovato. Here, the insurrectional patriots of 1844 were executed by a firing squad. San Francesco di Parola in the Aranella are the church and monastery of St. Francis of Parola. The interior, with a single nave, houses the tomb of Ottavio Cesare Gaeta. On the right wall are two 18th century paintings. A Sacra Familia and Madonna con San Francesco e Sant'Agostino. On an altar is a wooden statue of St. Francis of Parola, while on the left side of the nave, on another altar, is a wooden statue of San Michele Archangelo. The Madonna with Child in Glory and Saints Paul and Luke was painted by Pietro Negroni. In the apse, a 16th-century triptych made by Cristoforo Fafio represents the Madonna and Child in glory with Saints Catherine and Sebastian. At the back of the altar is a wooden choir built in 1679 by M. Domenico Costanzo da Rogliano. On the wall of the sacristia remains of frescoes dating back to 1550 to 1600. On the vault are some pastels representing scenes from the life of the saint from Parola. San Salvatore or the small church of San Salvatore serves the parish which professes the Byzantine Albanian faith.
Inside the nave are a wooden ceiling, some frescoes of the Apostola, of the Salvatore and of the Madonna, as well as a splendid iconostasis. Open-air museum in the modern part of Cosenza, in an area stretching from the pedestrianized Corso Mazzini to Piazza Bilotti, lies the open-air Museo Mab. The museum hosts a wide range of modern art sculptures that stand in the street for residents and tourists. The sculptures were donated to the city by the Italian-American entrepreneur and art collector, Carlo Bellotti. They include St. George and the Dragon by Salvador Dali, Hector and Andromache by Giorgio de Chirico, the Bronzes by Sasha Sosno, the Bather by Emilio Greco, the Cardinal by Giacomo Manzu and various marble sculptures by Pietro Consagra. Museums and Cultural Institutions National Gallery, Palazzo on One. Civic Archaeological Museum, Remembrance Museum, Bilotti Open Air Museum, Rendano Theatre, Morelli Theatre, Equaria Theatre, Cosentian Academy, University of Calabria, State Conservatoire of Cosenza, State Archive Library, Civic Library, National Library, District Library, Children's Library, Calabria Jazz Center Recordings Archive, Antonio Garasai Foundation Library, Church Library, Theological Library, Cultural and Ethno-Anthropological Heritage Archive, Events and Festivals, Fiera di S. Giuseppe, March, Festival dell'Invasione, July, Festa del Siocolato, October, La Sagra della Vari del Vino in Danici, October, Notable People, Wikim of Fiore, Orlo Giano Parasio, Bernardino Telesia, Pietro Negroni, Antonio Serra, Sertorio Quattromani, Francesco Savorio Salfi, Nicola Mississi, Alfonso Rendano, Alessandro Longo, Stefano Rodota, Maria Perotta, Stefano Fiora, Maria Perusi, International Relations, Twin Towns, Sister Cities Cosenza is twinned with, Kenosha, Wisconsin, USA, since 1979, Lansing, Michigan, USA, since 2000, Sault Ste. Marie, Canada, since 2010, Gallery, Morelli Theatre, Steps in via Arabia, June Fountain, Statue in the Old Gardens, Church of San Domenico, UNICAL University, Night View, Interior of the Rendano Theatre, Panoramic View, View of the Old Town, 